So I know I'm doing a really crazy thing. I am actually making a TBR for the month of April. What the hell is my life? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charles from the channel Books on Stereo and I'm here to bring you guys my April TBR. You may be a little bit apprehensive and say, wait, I thought he doesn't do TBRs. But since I am super lazy, a TBR is like the easiest thing that I can do because all I have to do is just show you the books that I'm reading and give you like a one to two sentence plot summary. So do not come for me if I mess up the summary of one of these books because there's about 30 books on this TBR. I'm also going to be participating in a couple of readathons, which is super exciting. But like always, all this information will be down in the description box down below so you can see a list of all the books that are going to be on this TBR. And in the description box down below, I will also include all the information about the readathons that I will be participating in. Without further ado, let's get into the book. So up first, I have the Romance Takeover Buddy Read a thon. I'm sorry if I messed that up. That is a handful to say and I didn't practice this before saying this on camera but this readathon goes from April 3rd to April 5th so it's just in a couple of days and the readathon is super chill, it's super lax and it's just a great way to connect with fellow booktube members and to just read some romance so where can you go wrong with this? So there are four categories to this readathon. You don't have to read a book that falls into each of these categories. You can read whatever you want. The first one is sci-fi. The second one is paranormal. The third one is contemporary. And the fourth one is historical. So up first for paranormal, I have Claim by Rebecca Zanetti. And this is the second book in her vampire paranormal romance series. And for science fiction, I have Night Chaser by Amanda Boucher. And all I know is that this one is a sci-fi romance. For contemporary, I have The Most Valuable Playboy by Lauren Blakely. And this is a baseball romance. And then finally, for historical, I have His Wicked Seduction by Lauren Smith. And this is a second book in a League of Rogue series. And if you have watched my historical romance TBR, um, this was one of the books that was on that TBR, but I unfortunately didn't finish the book. So now I'm using this book for this readathon so I can actually finish it. And in addition to the four categories that you can choose from, there are also a couple of challenges that go along with this readathon as well. First one is read a book outside safely if you can. I know these are crazy times. Second one is post a picture of your favorite snack slash drink while you're reading. And the third challenge is to post a picture of your favorite reading spot. So very chill, very, very low key. And I'm super excited to be taking part in this readathon or buddy read a thon. I don't really know how to refer to this readathon, but there's a bunch of booktubers that are co hosting this readathon. And I will link all the information down below in the description box down below. Then up next, I will be participating in the OWL readathon. And kind of the job I'm going for is healer. So for healer, there are a total of eight classes the first one, herbology, the second one, charms, the third one, defense against the dark art, the fourth one, which is potions, the fifth one, which is transfiguration, and then the last three are any classes of your choice. So up first, I have my pick for the astronomy class. And in order to pass this class, you just need to read a book mostly at night. And so for this challenge, I'll be reading You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and, Sa and Sarah Pekkanen. And this is a psychological thriller. For Charms, you have to read a book with a white cover. And for this, I'm going to be reading Elite, which is book one by Rachel Van Dyken. And then Defense Against the Dark Arts. For this class, you just have to read a book that takes place on the sea or by the sea. And for this, I chose Fresh Catch by Kate Canterbury. And for Herbology, you just need to read a book with the that starts with the title I. And for this one, I'll be reading I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. And for divination, all you have to do is just use a random number generator. And then whatever number that you get, you go to your TBR and pick out the book that corresponds to that number. And for this, I have Ash Lords by Scott Rankin. And this is essentially a riff off of Hunger Games. But instead of a competition to the death it is just a race with magical horses and for potions you just have to read a book that's under 150 pages and for this i chose beneath the sugar sky by shauna mcguire and this is a third book in the wayward children series and technically this book is 157 pages but i assume with all the filler pages it's closer to 150 so i'm kind of cheating on this because i just really want to read this book forgot to mention one other book that i'll be reading as part of the owls i'll be reading the secret history by donna tart which counts for muggle studies and for the final class which is transfiguration and all you have to do to pass this class is you just have to read a book that features shapeshifters and for this I'll be reading fire in his blood by Ruby Dixon I believe this is the third or the fourth book in her dragon series I don't know the name of the series but 
I'm super excited to be delving into this book as well. And so I'll also try to be participating in the Reading Rush Challenge or whatever they're going to be doing. I think that starts on April 16th, but as a time of filming this video, they haven't released any of the challenges, so I will probably make another video with my TBR for that readathon as well. So stay tuned. Then also the um, reading challenges for the Reading Rush um, stay at home challenge came out and I'm going to be kind of doubling up on these challenges. So I have two of the books that I already mentioned that I'm going to be using for my TBR in general. I'm going to move those into this challenge to help satisfy some of the challenges. So up first, I have Circe by Madeline Miller and this book will take care of three of the prompts. One is read a book that features a story about isolation or a pandemic. Read one of your desert island books, which is one of the books that I guess you would take on an island with you to read. And I would and I will be reading this book in the same room the entire time. And then my next pick will be I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. And this one will cover the challenge of reading a book with a house on the cover. And then I did miss one challenge that I will include for Cersei. And this one will satisfy the challenge of go to a place that you, that you wish you could visit. And I definitely would like to visit Cersei's Island because it seems pretty cool, but also really lonely, but then also really cool. Back to past Charles. And now I would just like to go through some of the books that I would like to read in April in addition to the books that I talked about before. Up first I have The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager and then I have Final Girls by Riley Sager, One Day in December by Josie Silver, The Heart's Invisible Fury by John Boyne, Cersei by Madeline Miller, Hitman's Prey by Mink, A Heart of Blood and Ashes by Mila Vane, It's Getting Scott in Here by Susan Enoch, God in School Books 1 and 2 by R.L. Stein, High Moon by Katie Wilde, Bad Liar by Lauren Rowe, Once a Myth by Peppa Winters, Nice Girls Don't Have Fangs by Molly Harper, A Kiddo by Jared K. I'm not going to try to pronounce the author's last name, Good Talk by Mira Jacob, Goosebumps Book 2 Stay Out of the Basement by R.L. Stein, Pile of Bones by Michael J. Sullivan, Just One Year by Penelope Ward, The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwong, and then The Mercies by Karen Millwood Hargrave. Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on here real quick to kind of give you a little bit of update. So I forgot to include one book in my TBR and that is The King of the South by Calia Reed. And so I know that this TBR seems completely ridiculous but just to preface this a lot of these books I have already started in previous months. I just never got around to completing a lot of these books so it's not that crazy. I think I can do it. I still think I'm a slightly a bit crazy because I don't know, like I've been slacking on my reading and I just discovered um amazing booktubers channel, uh, Remarkably Lisa. And I think she's like at 230 in terms of the amount of books that she's read. I think she has read about 230 books. And I'm like, I was just shocked because I'm, I thought I was alone. Not alone because Steph, one of my other favorite booktubers actually reads a lot too. But I was like, someone who outread me? Like it's unheard of. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below and tell me what are you going to be reading in April? Are you going to be participating in any of the readathons that I mentioned? And I hope you guys all stay safe and please exercise social distancing in this crazy and unprecedented time. And use this time to read as much as you can if you are able to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys with a brand new video soon. Bye!